It's not the Polar Express, but it might be just as magical. Toys for Tots partnering with two major rail agencies to make sure kids in need have a present to open on Christmas. Amtrak joining with Norfolk Southern to help Toys for Tots transport gifts and necessities to children in need in five cities between Rensselaer and Binghamton. Toys for Tots is run by the U.S. Marine Corps, and today's event was run like a military support operation. Volunteers led by a staff sergeant loading bags onto a train car. Patrick Lorenz, the U.S. Marine Coordinator for Toys for Tots, is rather humble about the military branch's role in all of this. This is a community program. Right? It's here to support the community and it's being assisted and completed by the community. The Marine Corps is here just driving this crazy bus to make all of this stuff happen. Levi Pasher is the field marketing manager for Duncan, a longtime sponsor of the event. The holidays, there's so much that goes on, whether it's like tree lighting, it's holiday lights, it's it's all like this joyous occasion. But I can tell you right now, there's nothing bigger than kids. You know what I mean? That's what the holidays are really all about, just putting a smile on their face. The train event went off the tracks for five years due to rail company squabbles. It's back now, but serving only its southern donation route. The northern donation route will be handled by truck this year, and organizers hope by train again next year. 2023's outreach projections are bittersweet. We expect to be well up over last year's numbers, uh, you know, and that's unfortunate, uh, but we're here to meet that need, uh, and thank God we're going to be able to do it. Lorenz has a very local and personal stake in this statewide effort. Right here at home, right? It's helping people in the community that I live in, uh, that I work in, that I, uh, I grew up in and I raise a family in. It's helping that community where I am uh, know that there's a better tomorrow and helping those kids. The foundation says it expects to help over 350,000 children. This train takes off Saturday morning at 7 a.m. Reporting in Rensselaer, Zion Dakota News 10, ABC.